Who's ready for some late night worship? I need you to sing loud for this here beating.
again. Come on, I will rest. pretty cool to stand in a room and hear a bunch of teenagers picture God as something that's bigger than your circumstances bigger than your popularity bigger than the things you achieve bigger than your friends bigger than that last relationship you were in. And I don't know tonight like what your view of God really is. But I can tell you from someone who's lived a little bit longer than you, he's bigger and he's better than anything that you could imagine. In fact, across the room real quick, why don't we just try something together? Why don't you just close your eyes? Why don't you just for a second picture him? Like, what's a loving God saying to you right now when you see him? For some of you in the room, still with your eyes closed, I think maybe you just need to hear him say tonight, You're worthy. not just tolerating me. He like really loves me. Like what are you seeing him do to you? Are you seeing him with his hands open and kind of just waving you over to him and saying, come on, buddy. Come on, lady. Come on, seventh graders. Come on, eighth graders. Come on, sixth graders. You can trust me with all your feet. You can trust me with all your friendships. You can trust me with your grades. You can trust me with your parents that just split up. You can trust me with everything tonight. And I can promise you tonight 
Tonight's not about behavior modification. We're not having this event tonight so that you'll be better. We're having this event tonight so that you can see better, so that you can see your God for who he is and for what he's done and for what he will do with you in the future. You're not alone tonight. You're not a number on a piece of paper in a small group tonight. You're not a label tonight. You are loved tonight. So tonight as we keep moving forward, you're gonna see his love on display in a few minutes through some baptisms. But before we do that, I wanna, I wanna sing a song with you and it's gonna be new to some of us in the room, but maybe you need to keep your eyes closed. Maybe you need to just look at these lyrics and you need to imagine for a few seconds of what God's love really looks like. So God, right now, would you remind us of your goodness? Would you remind us of your love for us? Show us what that picture looks like. It's a beautiful picture.
cool thing about tonight, we get to see a representation of his love for all of us. But we're gonna hear it through two stories of your friends. So uh, let's hear these stories. So we're gonna get to celebrate, like Mitchell said, called baptisms. And, and if you know what baptism is, it's really simple. It's an outward expression of an inward change. It's a story simply of how Jesus has changed somebody's life and a baptism is just a way to symbolize that to the world and we get to baptize um, two tonight, which is, which is pretty incredible. Um, we've got Callie Bacon that we're gonna be baptizing. That Cal, where's Callie's group at? Where are you guys at? Callie's group. And any other Callie fans? Anybody? Okay. So Callie uh, is a, she's a senior at Sequoia High School. And uh, uh, Callie accepted Jesus as her Lord and Savior when she was in the seventh grade at Transit Weekend, which is pretty unbelievable. And, and she's, while she's always grown up in a Christian household, she hadn't established a relationship with Jesus until that point, that one point, that moment at Transit Weekend. And in that moment, she realized that Jesus was going to be the foundation of her life and that everything to come would be built off of that. That's what she was confident in. In middle school, she struggled with self-confidence. We can all relate. Social media made her uh, dislike her appearance and she became obsessed with how she was portrayed um, well, how she was portrayed online. And after she accepted Jesus into her life, she was able to look back um, onto her foundation and realize that God designed her perfectly and that she is beautifully and wonderfully made. In fact, one of her favorite verses is one of the verses that we looked at together this weekend, Psalm 139, 13 to 14. You are the one, speaking to God, who put me together inside my mother's womb. And I praise you because of the wonderful way you created me. Everything you do is marvelous. Of this, I have no doubt. Callie continued through transit and eventually moved into Inside Out, where she was blessed with two small group leaders uh, named Taylor and Diana. I don't know, Taylor and Diana, anybody y'all here in the house tonight? Okay, um, there they are. Good to see y'all. Then Callie herself became a transit small group leader, and she has loved every minute of it. And, and there was one moment with her group that really stuck with her um, during transit weekend last year. Uh, where there was a few girls opened up about kind of their own problems and their, with self-confidence and their own difficulty with accepting love and, and how some of them wished that they could be a completely different person or maybe not even here at all. And Callie remembers thinking how brave those girls were for sharing their story and being honest and opening up and, uh, and, and being honest about how they wished they could see themselves the way God saw them. And Callie wished they could see themselves the way God saw them. That their courage and their strength made her faith stronger. And she says she owes it to transit. How cool is that? She owes it to transit for growing her faith even more than she could have ever thought or imagined. Without transit, this is Callie's words, not mine, her faith would be nowhere near as strong as it is today. And she wants to get baptized at Transit Weekend to show others that Jesus will change your outlook on life in the best possible way. He will always love you for exactly who you are, and he will never stop running after you, even if you're not running after him. She'd like to thank her parents for trusting her while growing in her faith, her sister Jenna, her small group leaders Diana and Taylor, Dylan and his family, and her friends, and especially her transit group for reminding her, this is so cool, every day what it looks like to let Jesus' light shine. So, without further ado, let's celebrate Callie's baptism.
One more. We also get to baptize Ellie Thornley. Ellie Thornley. Any Ellie Thornley fans in the house? Ellie is 13 years old, and she goes to Mill Creek Middle School. Any Mill Creek Middle School fans in the house? When Ellie asked uh, Jesus in her life, she was praying with her dad one night, um, and they were in a room getting ready to go to bed. And while they were praying, her dad said, and this is one of the things that he prayed, God, please um, be with us as we sleep. And this is apparently something that her dad always said. But that night, the phrase really stood out to her. And she was having a really hard day, and she really felt like God was speaking to her in that moment, that he was truly there, that he was really close. And she would tell you that she felt something that she doesn't usually feel. That she, it's like she said, the way she described it, she said, I felt like I had four cups of coffee and I don't even know, that feels like that'd be a little bit crazy. But she was so incredibly excited that she had accepted Jesus into her life that very night. Ellie wants to get baptized so that she can show her friends, which is awesome, her family, and even strangers, I love that. You don't even have to know Ellie to be inspired by her story. She wants to show all of you that she has accepted Jesus into her life and that you can too. And she wants other people to know about our Savior because she wants them to know this. This is awesome. How joyful, her words, how joyful Jesus can make you feel and how he can change your day drastically. She would like to thank her parents for always supporting her with her faith, the Browns, her small group leaders, Madison, Callie, Jessica, and Becca, and for always being by her side and leading her in her faith with God. And she'd also like to thank all of her incredible friends. You know who you are. So together, my friends, let's celebrate Ellie's baptism.
Show me what freedom means. 
tired, you say. Oh, you are worthy and you will always be enough. And I will never get tired of singing of your love. Oh, you are worthy and you will always be enough. And I will never get tired. What is for?